Hello everybody, this is Zoss House Gaming and welcome to our latest series, The Sexy Brutal. This is a game I've kind of been wanting to play for a while. It's not a very long game, I have beaten it. It's only about a few hours if you know what you're doing, maybe a little more if you don't. But this is a rather interesting game. I'll get into uh, the details of it more in a little bit. But, as I am with the start of every game, uh, if there's anything in terms of audio that is too loud or too quiet, be it myself or in the game, please let me know down in the comments below. Audio balancing is a massive pain in the butt. Anyways, without further ado, let's start a new game. The Marquis is the enigmatic owner and creator of the Sexy Brutal Casino Mansion. Every year he throws an extravagant masked ball for a select party of guests. His impeccably trained staff cater to their every desire, but this year something is terribly, ro terribly wrong. The guests aren't getting what they want at all. But you can find that out for yourself, Lafcadio Boone. After all, you have all the time in the world. My oh my, what has happened? Found ourselves unconscious within a room. And it's raining blood now with a blood soaked woman. Time to move on, old man. Uh, getting straight into it from the get-go. Fair enough. Never take your mask off. It will give you a chance. Just a chance. You are not weak. And I will help you. But he... He is so, so strong. And she just sinks away into a pool of blood. Just to really hammer the theme home. Alright. Time to get up. Go through the door. Yeah, this is just gonna be one major tutorial. Look through the keyhole. Must be he. What was that? Calm down, Reggie. They won't look for you here. Probably. And our boy has some rather incredible sense of hearing. Can't tell what he's saying, but we know he's saying something and that he's moving. Wait, where is it? This is just garbage. Who locks garbage in a safe? Also, what is that on the floor? Hmm. Well, nothing we can do about it now. Lucas, what have you done? I'm terribly sorry, sir. Oh. What? N no, you can't, please. You don't know what's going to happen. Ah, uh, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. Yikes. What will happen is that I'm going to shoot you messily in the chest. And then have a bastard of a time getting the stain out of the stonework. Wow, the dialogue does not stay around for long. Alright, get up again. He is coming. Hide. Oh, 
Let's have a look. Ha! It is still loaded. Let's see if this works. I guess there's always plan B if it doesn't. Well, we know who the killer is now. And yep, same scene, different angle. Mask keeps burning away when he dies. I wonder why. Uh oh, run. Be calm. You were not seen. He is not chasing you. Look back through the door. Now where the hell is Seven Clubs? You can bloody well come and help me with the body. I'm not lifting it on my own. He did not see you. He will not chase you. No one in this mansion will. That was my gift when I touched your mask. It will protect you, but only for a short time. The staff are murderers here. The guests are victims. But they are controlled, dominated by the masks they wear. I have one more gift for you. This pocket watch is... important. I took it from a man you saw murdered. If you can return it to Sixpence, he will be able to unlock its full potential. But first you will have to save him. I have to go. He will find me if I stay. So, use the pocket watch to restart the day from 12 p.m. Pocket watch is partially smashed and resets at 5 p.m. If you can find some way, or someone, to repair it, you will gain more control over time. Yeah, this is basically a Groundhog's Day murder mystery. Here you'll see the current guest, or guests, you are trying to save. Sometimes we're trying to save more than one. It appears as though we're playing a religious figure, a priest, a bishop, who knows. But yeah, every day until we get this fixed, until 5pm, it will reset and take us back to the beginning of the day. The beginning of Saturday. Now, thankfully, saving sixpence is not complicated. Basically, we just kind of have to follow along with the tutorial that showed us where it was. The map. As you explore the sexy brutal, your map will be built up with the rooms you have discovered. The movement of characters you have seen will be added to the map. You can adjust the time shown on the map by using the time scrubber. Yes, and by using the time scrubber, we can know Sixpence enters here around 12.15. But yeah, like I said, we're just going to want to follow along with the tutorial, uh, what the tutorial had for a time. Now, there is something that the game doesn't tell you. If you approach a door and there's somebody else in it, your mask will start burning. That's a warning to let you know that there's somebody there. But for now, let's follow along with Sixpence, because there is something we must do. Remember the thing that fell during the tutorial? We're going to need that. We're going to need to move quickly. A blank cartridge. 
Blank cartridge. Blank bullets will make a loud noise, but no actual round will be fired. A person might use these to hunt with friends without actually harming any animals. Interesting. Well, I think I know what we can do with that. Oh, whoops, he hadn't left yet. Here I am ignoring my own things. There we go. We go in here, and we place the blank cartridge. Now, thankfully, once we've done what we need to do to save the individual, we're done. We don't have to do anything more. Just sit back and enjoy the tutorial. I'm terribly sorry, sir. What? No, you can't. Please. You don't know what's going to happen. Ah, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. What the hell? What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank for f There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. You coward! Coward! And with that, sixpence is saved. Ha! Golden duck. Cracking job. This feels... very different. Why am I wearing this mask still? Yes, it seems now that the cycle of death is broken, the mask no longer has a hold over him. And thus, we no longer need to fear being in the room with him. Though it seems the casinos are might upset. Ah, so much better. Good lord, Lafcadio, hello. Where are we? Do you know? And, wait. Is that my pocket watch? I have the strangest feeling I've been looking all over for this done quite the number on it. There, that should see her all fixed. Or see her right? All fixed. Now oh, I think I should get back to the party. Fixed pocket watch. Use the pocket watch on any ticking clock. Note that it said ticking clock. That is going to be important. This will save your game and set that clock as your starting point for each day. With watch repaired, the full day is now open to you. Ha! Someone's been having a sly tipple on the job? Good show. Sleep it off, that man. Alright then, Reginald Sixpence has been saved. Take his mask. You will need its power. Yes, not only do we get the pocket watch, but we also get a power from taking his mask. Reginald's Clock Mastery. With Sixpence's mask, you can now create a bond with the clocks around the house. Use any active clock in the mansion to jump to 4 p.m. or 8 p.m. You saved Reginald's life. He was the personal clockmaker to the owner of this mansion, the Marquis. Well, he was more than that, but... The important thing is that the clocks in the mansion are tuned to him. Now you have his mask, his power. They will respond to you. You have to go, quickly. Even now, the mansion is straining to undo what you have done. But you can fight back, saving one life at a time. Or sometimes too. The day will start again. I pray that Sixpence's power will free you from these rooms. If you are lost, find me in the casino. I will look for you by the clock. There are so many more guests here who need your help. Yes, when that time resets, but unfortunately, so does Sixpence's, uh, 
demeanor in all this. In other words, he's back to the way he was before we saved him. And with us not being around to save him, well... His fate shall remain the same. Marquis invites you to tonight's show, 7pm in the theater. You know, it stays like this, I wish I were less competent. Then maybe I wouldn't get the tricky jobs. The sexy brutal. And I think that's going to be a good place to end this episode off here for today. Yeah, due to the short nature of the game, I'm going to be making these episodes shorter than I usually would. Though, granted, for some of these characters, the episodes are still going to be a bit longer. Or might be longer than usual. But we'll find out as we go along. But if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.